Sylvester Stallone is back. Samaritan is now streaming on Amazon Prime and I'm here to tell you more about it. Stay tuned. Coming to you from a basement studio somewhere down under. It's the 80s show with Australia's Retro Man. On tonight's show, Retro Man reviews Sylvester Stallone's new superhero movie, Samaritan. Well, what are we waiting for? Lights, camera, Retro Man. G'day viewers, Retro Man here and welcome to the 80s show. Now today I'll be discussing Sylvester Stallone's Amazon original. Yes, it's his new film Samaritan and not long ago I did a trailer reaction and I was super pumped for this film and I finally watched it last night. It debuted on Amazon and man, this is a very interesting superhero film. It's a lot of fun really and I'm going to give you the absolute lowdown. Let's work out way through the cast you've got Stallone front and center he plays this mysterious superhero that uh, went missing about 25 years ago the superhero is known as Samaritan and Sly now is living as a garbage man he's playing a character called Joe and this kid called Sam played by Javon Walton crosses paths with Sly's Joe and uh, he kind of thinks that he's this old superhero from back in the day. And it turns out, soon enough, that Sam was on the right path. Yes, Sly is the Samaritan of the title. And uh, he rescues Sam from a bunch of hoods that Sam did a little job for. They're going on a bit of a crime spree. And Sly steps in there and helps this poor kid out. And he sort of goes boom, boom, boom. And sends these guys all over the asphalt and uh, it's a very exciting scene in fact there's many action sequences in this film really so basically you've got Sam and Samaritan and uh, in the background there, there's a bit of a crime spree going on in this suburb. And uh, the guy involved in the crime spree at the head of it all is this peroxide blonde, big, hulky guy called Cyrus. He's played by Pilu Asbeck. I hope I got his name right. He's a Danish actor that you may have seen in Game of Thrones. And he's the villain of the piece. And he kind of takes on the persona of Nemesis. This is Samaritan's old adversary from back in the day. And uh, the film is building and building right up to that climax where Nemesis and Samaritan take on each other again. And wow, it's a very suspenseful little film. I mean, in the early part, we don't really get to see Sly all that much during the first half an hour. But then as the film builds, more and more sides of him are shown. He's haunted by his past. He's a conflicted guy. And his performance really reminds you of that aging Balboa in those Creed films. And Sly's really got that down pat. And he adds those flavours here as Samaritan. And uh, I think it kind of works. Sly does an admirable job, really. And uh, he certainly has that physical presence. You know that at one point of the film, he's just going to come out of his shell and explode and explode he does the climax of this film is quite good it's uh it shows sly as as i said he's a garbage man and uh he gets into the front seat of that garbage truck and he drives it straight into the villain's lair and uh hey he takes them all on it's bang smash punch kick throw and uh, Sly uh, almost, uh, if you will, turns into the Punisher. You know that film with Dolph Lundgren and there's been various incarnations of the Punisher over the years. And Sly almost transforms into a version of the Punisher in these final scenes. In fact, it's actually a full 25 minute finale. It's hair raising stuff. And uh, Sly's bashing through walls and crashing through things and uh, just 
throwing guys and hammering them down and it's really over the top and I was actually it's so old school I was waiting for some rock music to kick in maybe a little bit of George Farragut's bad to the bone but instead we get a great music score I think Samaritan has a pretty decent music score that kicks in that propels the action so kudos to the guys that handle the music and uh, really this is not a great superhero movie like it's not the superhero movie that you'll be talking about you know in years to come but uh when you talk about sylvester stallone's catalog and you're honing in on his work you'll think man sly did pretty good i mean he's 76 years of age this was filmed a year or so back so he's maybe 74 75 but i mean at that age to play a superhero my hat goes off to him he does a pretty good job i mean he has like i said those rocky balboa flavors and he's got that real undercurrent of darkness that's brewing there from his haunted superhero past and all of that comes together to actually share some lighter moments with the kid. And I think the chemistry between Javon Walton and Sylvester Stallone is not too bad, really. I think they kind of get along together and have a bit of a rapport on screen. And I think that's what raises it a little bit above the norm. How strong are you? <laughs> not as strong as I once was. So Samaritan is not a Marvel or DC superhero movie, this is a standalone superhero movie. It's old school and it's a little something else. And uh, you add that special ingredient of Sylvester Stallone, one of the greatest action heroes of all time, and uh, it makes for a very entertaining, very fun ride that really has those spectacular hammer down sly moments at the end. And at the end, he just kind of Spoiler alert, but he just kind of disappears. He puts his hoodie and his puffer jacket on and he just escapes at the end there. Samaritan just walks away from it all. But will Samaritan return? That is yet to be known, but I think this is going to do really well on Amazon Prime. It's great to see Sly back there. This could have went theatrical, I think, and at one stage it was going to. This is an MGM film, a Balboa production, and uh, Amazon Prime in the current climate in the world picked it up, and it's there for viewing on their streaming service. And I tell you what, for a Friday or a Saturday night, you want a bit of fun, you want a bit of superhero action. Samaritan is a refresh little film and uh, hey forget about those Marvel and DC films take it for what it is it's Sylvester Stallone playing a superhero it's a fantasy and I mean Sly dipped his big toe into the superhero fantasy pond back in the 90s when he did uh, Judge Dredd and Demolition Man they're those fantasy films he did at the time and uh, he did those quite well so he's an old hand at this kind of stuff but he plays it in this very stoic very tough and when it comes right to that moment where we need Sly to explode he does and the action delivers in the last 25 minutes. It's a little bit CGI heavy with all that fire in the, fi in the final moments on that one-on-one -on -one between Cyrus and uh, Samaritan. But uh, hey, that's how it is now. But uh, yeah, it's, it's one of those new films that they do get carried away with the CGI. But uh, overall, Samaritan is a fun ride. It's not great, it's good. And I'm enthusiastic about it, and I must say that if you're a Sly Stallone fan, check it out on Amazon Prime. It's Samaritan. I'm sure many of you have already seen it. Please jump on board and let me know in the comments below what you think of this Basham and Crasham superhero fest with Sly. Hey, I like it when he picks up those things and uses them as shields. It's kind of fun, really. So tell me about it in the comments below. Did you like Samaritan? Are you a Sly Stallone fan? And is this bringing back those 80s and 90s action flavors? I think it is. This is an old school superhero film, and uh, I think it all comes together to make a bit of a fun ride, really, and uh, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. So check it out, Samaritan on Amazon Prime, and that wraps it up for today. Uh, that's it for this Sylvester Stallone episode of the 80s show. Actually, I just heard that Sly and his wife have split.
news broke after all those years of marriage. Uh, maybe more on that later. I hope everything's all right with Sly and Jennifer Flavin, but that's another story for another day. Sylvester Stallone is back. Samaritan is the film. And there we have it, guys. It's been a lot of fun talking about this one. And uh, I've seen a lot of these Sylvester Stallone movies over the years many times, and I'm sure I will check Samaritan out again sometime. When the dust settles, I might go and watch it again on Amazon Prime because it's a lot of fun. So that's it, guys. It's been an absolute pleasure. This is Retro Man, living the dream, 80s style. Stay gold. Thanks for watching. Retro Man will return faster than a boomerang and more powerful than Sly Stallone in Samaritan. Now that's cool. Please subscribe and good night, viewers.